it says organ pipe is closed at one end, compute the wavelength and frequencies of the first uh, three modes of resonance. Um, well, I did this at the beginning of the lab, but uh, it's worth doing it on recording, especially for the benefit of those of you who weren't in the lab. Um, so, well, let me just quickly draw that. Um, it says it's uh, closed at one end. And I guess I'm kind of interpreting this to mean open at the other end. So let me uh, draw this pipe sideways. So I have a bit of a room. So here's my uh, representation of organ, organ pipe. I have a closed end here and an open end here. So as I imagine representing uh, sound waves along this column, once again, I'm going to use pressure representation. That's frankly my representation. That's frankly my bias. I prefer the pressure representation. No, you don't have to prefer it. I'm just telling you what I prefer. So um, with the pressure representation, this open end always has to be a node. And the boundary condition for the closed end will be anti-node for the pressure representation. So, so yeah, I start drawing a few pictures. I'm starting out with, uh, well, the fundamental F1. So that would be the longest, uh, um, that would be the longest wavelength possible. So that um, must be node here, anti-node here, nothing else in between. That would look like this. I don't know, these super long things are kind of hard to draw. All right, something like this. And what this represents is this is a quarter of the wavelength. So you're gonna have to figure out, okay, what's the wavelength? Uh, take that, uh, multiply by four. Once you have wavelength, then you use this relationship, wave speed is frequency times the wavelength to solve for the frequencies. So, all right, there's one. Uh, the other one, uh, the next one is one where you have one node in between and it'll still start out at a node and end at an anti-node and it'll look something like this. And once you draw the picture, then you'll recognize that, oh, so what I have drawn is a three quarters of a wavelength, um, associate a frequency with that. And, and I guess the reason it's F3 is because of three quarters instead of two quarters. <laughs> um, so, okay, that's the second resonance. And the third one, it just kind of follows this pattern. Uh, instead of one additional node, you're going to have two additional nodes, maybe something that looks like this. Uh, I don't like where this node is. Um, so this time you are finally going to get one whole wavelength and then a quarter. So uh, something like this, sorry, I can't draw with freehand. So you realize, okay, this distance now is five quarters of a wavelength, then you figure out the wavelength and get the frequency. 